Project Zomboid. We found our way across to the retail park, or at least the start of the retail park. We've got this uh, this convenience store over here. Uh, we've got a laundromat uh, down in this direction. And we've got a ton of electronic scrap on us. Um, I went around and I dismantled pretty much every single CD player, radio, and other thing that I could find. Uh, so we're quite burdened down. I'm going to take all this stuff back. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've done all right out of this. <coughs> Car battery charger as well and a jack. Those are, I'm sure, going to come in useful. And a new hiking bag for holding stuff in. Ooh, actually, while we're on our way... Is the key in the ignition? No, we don't have the key. Is the key in hit nine mil rounds? I will take them. Thank you very much. There is no key. That's a shame. We'll check the boot anyway while we're here. A school bag. I am always up for getting more containers. Uh, this thing is all completely burnt out, and I believe this is the parking lot that we went around and explore before yeah it is right let's take you out gotta keep our murder skills nice and high uh, we are quite tired um, which is fine um, I'm not too worried about that but uh, obviously we don't want to be caught out after dark how is our spike plank doing it is about to break Ideally, we'll find something nearby that we can just destroy. Right, for car stuff. Oh, there's already a car battery charger in here. Well, I guess we'll put another one in. Car battery charger. The jack can go in here as well. And this gas can is going to go with our spares. Look at this big pile of gas that we've got. Five gas cans now. I am very happy about that. All right. So the wallets all go in here. Do we have any other wallets or things? Doesn't look like it. Uh, in terms of general containers, let's put the hiking bag on the floor over here and also the school bag. That will give us enough space for even more weapons and things. Right, nine mil rounds. Did I just end up dropping them in the car? Oh no, there they are. Can't seed the wood for the trees. Uh, what else have we got? All the electronic scrap that's going to go under here. Aluminium amplifier, battery, cleaning liquid. There's... N just about going to be enough space for this. Radio receivers as well. Oh, actually, it might might not quite have enough. No, not quite enough space. So we're going to need another container for these. Uh, maybe just under the sink. No, just under the sink. We've got all the canned goods. All right. Uh, let's grab one of these bags from over here. Uh, no, we'll do the hiking bag. I think the hiking bag is going to be a better option. And we'll put the hiking bag over here. And we'll have the hiking bag for all the electronic scrap. So let's rename this. Ooh, that did not work. Right, try this again. Okay. So, aluminium, amplifier, battery, electrical wires, electrical scrap, light bulb, radio receiver, receiver. We'll dismantle that radio as well. There we go, that's those moving across. These four radio receivers can also come across. 
let's speed that up a little bit. That is full, actually. All right. So we're going to need even even more bags. Fine. It will we'll just uh, we'll just manage the best we can. Nails across into this bag. This is actually completely full of nine mil now. Okay, so shotgun shells is going to go in a separate bag. We'll have nine mil in this bag. <coughs> that works. Sort of organized. Uh, we need food and we need sleep. Right, let's drop off the cleaning liquid just up here. Can't actually fit. Fine, we'll, we'll leave the cleaning liquid on the floor. Always need more containers. I might go back for those tote bags that I saw um, previously. Oh, the burger's rotten. All right, we'll take those out and we'll throw them away. So the, the pile of stuff that we really don't care about. Rotten burgers out there. Uh, anything else look like it's about to go off? I don't think so. Other oh, fries are rotten as well. Well, I don't think anything else can really go rotten. Let's uh, let's carry on eating the fresh stuff first, though. We'll eat the ham and then we will go to sleep. So, setting an alarm for 8.30. Alarm is on. Drop those fries on the ground. And to bed we go. After a good night's sleep, we're going to go and get those tote bags. Uh, we'll put them almost certainly in... Ooh, Misty. Uh, we've woken up before our alarm, so let's actually turn off that alarm. Alarm off. So there were tote bags up here in the kitchen, I think. Uh, we'll bring them back and we'll put them in our own kitchen. Just for sanity's sake, there we go, all three of them. One, two, three. A little bit of extra storage, just so that we can organize stuff until we can build our own containers. Now, I could finish off training my carpentry with, uh, let's just drop these. One, two, three, right. Let's rename one of these. Cleaning. And one meds. How much do these actually store? Not much. So cleaning liquid. Cross into the cleaning one. Um, soap, all of that across. And of course the cleaning liquid from there. Straight up and in. Uh, in fact, yeah, I will rename one of these meds. And what we're going to have in the other one? Well, I suppose it's all, all much of a muchness, isn't it? Can we actually get the name? No, we have to click on it. Right, so uh, painkillers, sleeping tablets, beta blockers, adhesive bandages, and the disinfectant. That all goes in the meds bag. And the rest of the stuff, I think, can just stay in the cabinet for now. Uh, we have a spare hammer that we can leave here. Yeah, there's space in here for another hammer. So, hammer across. And I think that is, that's pretty much all of the stuff that I wanted to drop off. Okay. Let's go get some food or oh, disassemble more things or both.
So in terms of our carpentry, it's 136 out of 300. We've got quite a long way to go before we can actually start building our own containers. That itself isn't a problem, but it's worth paying attention to. Right, let's get this plank broken. Ah, did not break it. All right. Best laid plans go to waste, etc., etc. It was good that we uh, uh, we spent a bit longer out yesterday, um, wear ourselves out a little bit. Now coming in here, obviously we've uh, we've seen these. I want to have a look at the other nearby buildings. Is this all locked up? I bet it is. No key nearby. Is the, the boot is locked as well? Okay. So into the laundromat. Mint candy in the bin. Yeah. I will totally take bin candy. Uh, we'll take the bottle. Hmm. I could have sworn I had a water bottle on me. Maybe I put it in a container somewhere. Uh, we'll drink the pop. And we will take the orange soda. I want this to primarily be uh ooh, best bleach sock. Right, let's let's fill. And we do have a water bottle there. It was just in our other hand. We'll fill the empty bottle as well. And you know we'll we'll drop the empty pop can. Yeah, two water bottles. I was just completely blind. Uh, what else is in the steel kit? Ooh, school bag. I will have that. Thank you very much. And no, the rest can the rest can stay. Nails and a hammer. Thank you. Uh, we'll get all of that. And these shelves. Battery and a paper clip. Don't really care that much about those. Right, that's everything the laundromat has to offer, so let's just disassemble what we can quickly. I mean, there's a lot of potential practice to be had there uh, for disassembling. You can sleep in chairs! Uh, don't really care about getting more planks at the moment. We can always come back for them. Uh, nails are, in fact, no, I will grab a plank because we're going to need to make another spike plank. Ooh, we can make a mortar and pestle. Yeah, still don't know what those uh, notched planks are for. I'm going to have to look that up just to find out. Unless uh, someone watching has some helpful comments on, on what we can do with those. Right, let's equip this one. The other one will go in the bag. And we'll re-equip this, there we go. Load is balanced. So, laundromat done. At least as done as it can be until we get a propane torch. Let's uh, check the next car. Empty bottle, dog chew toy, matches. Duct tape, yes. Uh, wallets. Painkiller, plastic bag, sure, why not. Uh, let's move to the driver's seat. Unlock the boot, there's no key in the ignition, which is a bit of a shame. What have we got in the boot? A school bag and a tire pump, wow. So school bag, tire pump. Empty gas can as well, nice. And an entire sport tire, which is in perfect condition. Now, this weighs a lot. Uh, probably not going to take it back. Mm, maybe we should. All right, we're going to take a tire with us. It'll be fine, he says. We're going to siphon some gasoline as well. That gas can is 
not anywhere near full, but we can siphon some more from this one over here. <clears throat> Alright, now it is full. That goes... Everything is full. Okay, equip this. Let's, let's take back this tire and this complete gas can. And we'll call this a, a little mini successful run out. It's not always about getting food. Uh, sometimes it's about getting supplies. And I'm sure that having a complete spare tire is going to be very useful for us. Eye makeup. Can't wear it. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, I changed over our top to a padded uh, a padded jacket uh, while I was going around uh, dismantling all of the electronics and things. Um, I thought that was a, a worthwhile use uh, of our time. Uh, the vest was cool, but it didn't really have as much insulation. So I was worried that if things start to get a bit cold, uh, we may struggle with that. Right, so gas can first. Just drop that here. That's reduced our load quite a bit. We're going to put the tyre in the boot. Can't actually fit in the boot. Interesting. All right. Um, well, in that case, let's let's put it in the back of the police van. I should really take that radio apart as well. There's plenty of space in the back of here. Um, how big is that radio? It weighs 20. Can I dismantle it? I can. Alright, we got quite a lot of scrap and stuff from that. Nothing that I really want to uh, take out of it. In fact, it's... I'll, I'll leave the umbrella in there, why not? So, organising once again. Uh, electronics is pretty full. Let's put a new container on the ground for more electronics. So amplifier, battery, electrifiers, scrap, green light bulb. And there is plenty of space left in this, so we can also grab all those radio receivers across. Uh, the main receiver. Let's dismantle this while I remember. Uh, three bits of wire. Five light bulbs. Oh yeah, loads of space left. Right, battery. Radio receiver. Great. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do much really with that until we can train up our electronics. Oh, I should take the fishing tackle and put it in the fishing thing. Let's let's do that now before I forget. Okay, so fishing tackle and the like was going over here. There we go. Much tidier. Uh, we're still carrying quite a lot. Oh yeah, of course. We've got more bags and other things. So another school bag here. We'll drop that. Nothing in it just yet. Uh, duct tape and other repairable bits goes under here. The tire pump should go in the back of the car. Right, let's sort out the wallets first. This plastic bag is nearly full. Let's put another one on the ground. The purses themselves are actually containers. Um, in fact, if I put the purses 
on the floor. They hold slightly more than the plastic bags, so that's going to be a better way of, of having things organised. All this is, is completely pointless. This is just so that we have our loot. Um, but I still like it. Okay. Painkillers goes in the meds bag. Orange soda will go under the sink. Tire pump goes in the back of the car. Doesn't fit. All right, it can go in the back of the police van. Which has loads of space now. In fact, I think I'm going to move all these bits across. So that weighs 15. Car battery charger. Jack. Lug wrench and umbrella. Umbrella I'm just going to drop here actually. So lug wrench, car battery chargers, the jack and the tyre. It's still got loads of space left. I see you over there mate. Alright. Let's clear the area. That is good. That is our spike plank gone. So we'll get a new one out. And we are ready for more fighting. Ready for more fighting. Okay, well, some supplies for the cars and stuff. Let's uh, let's dismantle this door. I still want to uh, work on our carpentry, of course. We're getting a little bit hungry. I think I've... I've dismantled everything I can in here. Even the back door? Yeah, even the back door. Let's go do some more around the church. In fact, seeing as I've got a taxi key, can I get in all the taxis? No. I mean, that, that would have been a bit easy, but... Uh, Let's check the boot. Yeah, pants and underwear. Nothing that we really care about. So dismantling the door. I thought that was going to be enough. I keep doing that. And can we dismantle the lectern? Yes, we can. How about the cross? No. That's all right. We've done a, a pretty good job there. I don't think we can uh, we can rob graves even if we have a shovel. Uh, probably wouldn't want to anyway. Uh, what with you know zombies around everywhere, it would you know disturbing the dead just seems like a bad idea. Ooh, we can disassemble a. Gr what have we made? We've made stone. What can we make with stone? It doesn't actually weigh that much. So let's get all the stone. Like some kind of masonry, perhaps. I mean, this this might be training up. I have no idea. It might be training up our strength. So strength is one five nine eight. Yeah, this is training up our strength. All right, let's uh, let's do this. I don't think we're going to need all the stone, but for strength training, sure, just just smack it all apart. Literally, just smacking it apart with a hammer. I'm going to take some of this stone back. I don't know what we can actually do with it, but there will be some form of construction, I'm sure. I see you, mate. Right.
we do actually put the uh, the hammer in our hand. So I guess we must at least require that. Right, that's all the stone we can get. Uh, let's equip this as our secondary. Yeah, we only uh, only need the hammer to take to take the gravestones apart. Well, I'm I'm really happy that uh, I found a way of actually working our strength in a in a practical way as well. I see you down there. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with these fences. So let's just carry on uh, doing gravestones for the moment. So we're hungry, which means our strength has gone down. That's fine. I don't mind waiting until we're pretty damn hungry before we eat. Certainly better strength training than just pushing trees. Which I gather works, but it, you know, it's not going to be fun watching really. Just carefully positioning myself so I can still watch that uh, zombie in the corner. How are we doing? 1764. It's actually going up quite quickly. A good solid day of breaking graves. That's what we're doing today. So much stone. Up to 1809 already. Ooh, misjudged that. This one we need a propane torch to dismantle. Uh, was there anything in here that we really cared about? Ah, oh, there was the propane torch. Uh, yes, so let's, let's grab that propane torch. Can we actually... Yeah, we need the welding mask as well. Which unfortunately we don't have. Apparently there's a scrappable object background here. Ah! Oh my word, we we can We can do the fence. That's gonna give us screws and stuff. Okay. New game plan. Let's go kill that uh, zombie. And then we're going to work our way around the fence to train up our skills. Empty notebook, well, nice, but not very useful to us. We do need food, but uh, for the moment... Look at all this potential plank that we're getting. Just need to get the uh, the positioning right. There we go. It's a little bit finicky with the uh, positioning. Uh, drowsy, hungry. Yeah, I mean that's none of that is a surprise. One thing I am interested though. One eight. 30.5 do we get experience for strength with this no we don't 
we are going to be getting carpentry experience though. 182.8. One eight five point eight. Yeah, we're getting three per time, which is actually a huge amount. So very good for us. Uh, we don't have enough um, experience in order to actually get the next skill point when we get there, but we could always go out and hunt zombies when the time comes. All right, it is getting quite late. We are drowsy. We're hungry. Let's um. Let's take some of this stuff back. I uh, can't really fit anything else in there. Let's put the propane torch across. Now oh, that won't fit. Uh, maybe just some more screws then. And we'll call that a good job. Smack, 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 smack. Jeez, he's a beefy one. Credit card. That'll pay for some new shoes. No, those uh, those little white fences are not scrappable. But really good about the uh, the outdoor one. Place was just up here. Yeah, got slightly disoriented. That's fine. So, new bits. Drop these. I didn't actually drop them, did it? There we go. The rest of this, uh, we'll, we'll drop the stone over here so it's obvious but not anywhere near us. Good, that's all gone. Uh, so what else have we got? Propane torch. Propane torch, I'm, in fact, pro yeah, propane torch I'm going to keep in the back of the car. Get welding mark, we'll put it in there as well. Screws, they're going to go under the stairs. Credit card can go inside. And I th think other than that, we've pretty much cleared down all the junk we were carrying. Uh, can I turn the light back on? Do I even remember where the light switch is? There it is. So, fresh food. And a pineapple, sure. Well, that's sorted that bit out for the moment. Uh, let's put the credit card in over here. Nails are actually screws, screws under the, here in the cabinet. Nails, I'm fine carrying 30, there's the other screws. So that's all sorted, that's all sorted. All right, let's, uh, let's get some well-deserved sleep. So we found a way to train up our strength by smashing stuff. Our carpentry, uh, we're gonna focus on that next time, I think, um, but that is gonna be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. We're going to get our carpentry up to level three and then start building some crates and storage. And then we're going to move that huge pile of food across. That's the plan at the moment anyway. If you are liking these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Project Zomboid. See you soon.